Hello my lovely people and welcome back to my channel. Again, I would like to apologize for not uploading for a month. I've been so caught up with work, but today I want to thank everyone who has been supporting my channel and everyone who is still not subscribed yet. Go hit that like button, go hit that subscribe button, and welcome to my channel. Today it is President's Day, so I'm off, so I decided to make this video. So about a month ago, I did a Instagram poll where I asked you guys what videos would you like to see? Do you guys, would you like to see a prank number two on my grandparents or a video on how did I get into college? So I will put up here, somewhere around here, the results. So now that you've seen the results, you will see that how did I get into college? One. So today, I will be talking about my lovely experience on how did I get into NJCU, which is the university that I graduated this past May from. So this is how my story begins. So I'm gonna start you off by my high school career. My high school years, um, the toughest years in my life, but then again, I wouldn't change it for anything. It was a growing experience, is where I met some people that I, I'm still friends with up to today. And again, I wouldn't change my experience for nothing. Would I go back and do things differently? Most likely, but then again, hey, it's part of life, it's where you learn and grow. So I'm gonna start off by my senior year. My senior year, where everyone was going crazy, applying for colleges, here little old me didn't know what to do. I'll be honest with you, I was clueless. Did I know who to go to, where to apply? No, I did not. But there was this one amazing teacher who, she knows who she is. She's also my sorority sister, which is funny enough. She guided me through this whole process. She knows that and I know that she is one of like my biggest role models in my high school career and about just anything she was there for me. So I remember her asking me, hey, have you been applying to colleges? And I'm like, no, I don't think I'm going to go to college. Like I don't know how to go about it. I don't know who to contact. I don't know who to speak to. And she would tell me, why not? There's a lot of opportunities out there. There's a lot of programs, a lot of grants and scholarships out there. Why don't you apply for it? And I told her, again, I don't know. I don't know what to apply. I'm the first one, you know, to really finish up high school and then go straight to college. So I had no idea what to do. So she's like, okay, how about, you know, you look for local colleges and, you know, if you need any help, I will help you. So that's when I started doing my research, started getting applications, started doing my research. She also told me that her husband worked for a local college called NJCU. I told her, hey, why not? Let me look into NJCU and what do they have to offer? So as soon as I saw NJCU, I said, hmm, it's close by, it's not that far, I could take a train, I could take, at that time there was an Uber, for some reason NJCU and also Kane, funny enough, were the top two in my choices. So when Kane came around and I got accepted, I didn't know what to do, at that point I was like, it's a lot of money, I don't know if I could do the whole distance thing even though Kane is not that far. But again, I didn't drive at that at that time, so I would have to take public transportation or unless I dorm. But then again, I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna, I'm ready for that risk or, you know, I was, I was still nervous about everything that was going on. Again, my plans were really to go into college. I know people were like, what? Really, you didn't wanna go into college? Again, it's not that I didn't want to in particular, but it's because I didn't know how to get there. I don't. I didn't know who to talk to. I didn't know who to look for. I didn't know how much I needed to really spend. I didn't know any resources. So at that time, I was like, college, eh, not for me. I'll just go straight into working. But then 
doors started opening up. This teacher had a husband in this particular school, which is NDCU, and he was part of this program called EOF. In this program, you had to do, go through certain steps in order to get into the program. This program um, helped a lot of students that had low income or families that had low income money, which I don't, you know, I'm not rich. So for everyone who's out there, yes, your girl went through the EOF program and I'm proud because guess what? I'm a graduate and I'm the first one in my family. For those who don't know what EOF stands for or um, don't know how to get into that, I suggest you to go into your local college uh, at online or anything and look for EOF or OSP and research to see if your particular or local college has that program. So this program, in order to get into it, has a lot of steps. You need to go through interviews, you need to go write an essay, you need to speak to a lot of individuals, you need to do testing. So it's not just, okay, I'm gonna apply, check off EOF or OSP, and you're gonna get into the program. No, it's not like that. You really need to sit down and speak to these individuals. Mind you, I, at that, at that time, I was no one to be able to speak to anyone. I was such a shy person. I was, I was like, oh, oh my gosh, these people are like, I don't know, like the president. Like, <laughs> I was like, I thought I was like, I don't know what to do. What they're gonna think of me? I'm just an ordinary Latina woman. Like, Girl, what am I going to say? What am I going to do? What am I going to wear? So the teacher told me, be you. Just be you. Dress professional and be you. Look up questions online, you know, so you can have an idea what they're going to ask you. But be you. So I walked into the room and I remember it was like four or five different individuals and they each had a different question and it was like one had a question, another one had a question. It was just, I don't even remember how I spoke. I just know that I became like, I was, it was me, but it's like, I knew I wanted to go into that school so bad that like I had to like to be honest and pour out my heart to them and show them that I was qualified to go into that school and that I really wanted to be part of the NJCU family. So I remember speaking to them and they kept going and asking me questions. And I left out of that room like, I was like, okay, I think I did okay. And I remember every single day I will call the office, hey, um, when are the you know acceptance letters that are coming out? By any chance, did I get accepted? Can you tell me through the phone? Um, sorry, Ina, you will have to call back, or in the following week we'll be sending out letters. Okay. Hey, by any chance, it was an everyday thing. I just really wanted to know how I did in this interview. So finally, the time came. And I remember going to the office because I needed to bring in some particular documents that were, they were requesting for me. So I passed by this um, particular individual. I'm not gonna name any names. But I, I passed by this particular individual that worked in the office and I asked her, I know I've been calling every day. You probably know me by my name already. I'm Enid. I really would like to know if I got accepted or how long do I need to wait? And she goes, okay, come on in. I said, me? Come on in right now? She said, come on in. I remember her taking out this binder and I just, for some reason, I felt like as soon as I looked into that binder, I saw my name like like that. And she's like looking down my list. She's like, what's your name? And I'm like, um, Ina Martinez. She's like, she's like, okay, Miss Martinez, let me look to see if you're in here. And I remember her just going down with her finger and pointing to my name. And I was like, <gasps> and I'm, in my mind, I'm like, is that the acceptance, you know, side or is that the rejection side? And she goes, Miss Eden, welcome to the family. 
and I remember that I screamed. I told them, listen, I don't, I, I wanna come here, like that's it, like just put me in. Because once you get your letter, you're supposed to call them back and tell them whether you would like to attend or if you don't wanna attend or whatever, or if you got into another particular college that you just decide that NGCU is not for you. And I was like, no, 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 that's it. Like, this is it, I'm, I wanna be part of this family. I already feel like this is family. And she was like, okay, well, let's get you started. Let's come on in, let's fill out the rest of your paperwork. And there you go, there you have it. So I remember going into orientation. I remember going into all these particular um, different um, agenda they had for us and just loving every second of it from meeting um individual different students and all the particular classes i had to take it was a program that you had to go in through the summertime and do do a whole course load of college work and then have already credits so when september hit you already had some subjects already and every other subject but you will have already college credits so this program, I am telling you, it was the hardest program that I could ever witness and do, but I enjoyed every second of it. I met in a lot of individuals that I honestly say I graduated with this past me as well. And I was able to um, have bonds with certain of these individuals. So I do uh, thank EOF for allowing me to be a student at NGCU and being in your particular program. Now, um, after getting into NGCU, I did not, you know, just become an ordinary student where I just go to college, went to college, I mean, and um, go home. I joined SGO where I did secretary my freshman year. I joined a sorority, different programs. Uh, I worked for the bookstore. I worked for the computer lab. I um, I'm always, was always involved in something. I never wanted to, you know, just go to school and go back home. I always wanted to involve myself in things and include my, myself in things and open my horizons and you know understand what it is to be a college student especially me being the first one in my family so that is basically it of my I, my chances and my opportunity into college and how I got into college now I do have to say that NJC wasn't the only college I went to visit um, Again, my family had nothing to do with this process. I went by myself, so any college orientation, I went by myself. I didn't drive, so again, I had to find my way there. But I did my best to go to these orientations. Montclair, I remember going. I remember going to uh, Kane, um, taking the trains, two trains to get into Kane. I went to um, William Patterson with one of my friends and we got there on our own as well so you know it was a hard experience but something that I will I will always cherish because I did it for myself you know I at first I thought I wasn't gonna be able to do it and I pushed myself as well as this teacher told me you know don't give up and do it just you you have the potential to do it and I was like, you know what, let me do this for myself and let me see how far do I get. And I'm honestly grateful for everyone that I have met and everyone that I continue to meet. And NGC will always be my second home. That is my college experience and I hope that you guys who are applying right now or who are in college um, won't give up and just work hard and reach those goals because no one's gonna do it for you i have said it in previous videos you have to do it for yourself don't do it for anyone else do it for you i did it for myself and here i am a college graduate i graduated at 22 I was yes 22 and um yes it was like the best thing and experience in my life and I do not knock anyone for it who doesn't go straight into college after high school. As long as you get it done, just get it done. Go to college, get your educational, education. Go get your education and do what you have to do. 
again, do it for you.